Do you think you're ready to test your geriatric medicine knowledge? Let's find out. A 75-year-old woman is brought by her daughter due to progressive memory loss and increasing difficulty managing finances over the past year. Her mini-cog test is abnormal, and laboratory studies including CBC, CMP, TSH, B12, and folate are normal. An MRI of the brain is obtained. Which of the following is the most appropriate next step in management? So first-line treatment for Alzheimer, as I mentioned, it are acetylcholinesterase inhibitors. Uh, they can be uh, used in mild disease, which is when it should be caught. There's three agents available. They're generally similar in efficacy. One comes in the form of a patch, and that may be associated with better tolerability. Overall, you can expect mild improvements in both cognition and function. They're statistically relevant. Does it really matter in terms of um, something clinically that patients can appreciate? Um, generally, my opinion and an overall consensus is no. These drugs tend to hold the line and prevent, they, they promote a slower decline in cognitive uh, ability and function, um, but uh, they don't cause a significant improvement either for the majority of patients. Nothing that they'll notice. If there's no improvement, if the patient's continuing to decline six to eight weeks later, the medicine can be discontinued, and there is a, a significant uh, association with nausea and vomiting and weight loss and tolerability of these drugs um, is problematic.